Did you know that you can do math lessons with your baby? Well, Stephen Gass, the creator of Evie's Adventures, is here with Evie today to show us how. It's so good to have you guys with us again. It's great to Hi, be back, Evie. right, Evie? Yeah. And so we're talking about math today, and you say that it doesn't have to involve numbers. So how do you teach your baby math? Well, you know, it's the whole thing about numbers. People mm -hmm. tend to think that numbers are the foundation of math, but it's actually bigger concepts. Numbers are a pretty complicated symbol system that represent things. So what you want to do is give your baby hands-on experiences with some of these math concepts. Okay, so let's start. The first one, the activity you have was with the paper, right? That's right. Just a simple piece of paper. Everybody knows babies love to rip paper, yes, right? Yes, they do. But you know what? It's actually a math lesson because we have one big piece of paper here, don't we, Evie? And now, this is baby division. And we Nicely divided this done. into oh, yeah, did two pieces. Did. So there's a little bit of numbers. We can use the number oh. words, but it's not about getting the baby Shall to rote memorize numbers. Shall we take this one and oh. rip this one too? Oh. And oh. now there are three pieces. Shall we make more? More is a big more. math concept. More. more. And babies love more. Paper. Who doesn't? Very simple. Yay! Nice job, Evie. Now the next one you have is higher, lower, empty, full. How That's do you demonstrate that? Well, what I'm going to ask you to help us I'd out. I'd love to help. We it's have your... Evie. Look, there's a big, another math word, oh. big, big empty glass. Okay. Evie, can and, you help me? And a small full one. Here we go. Ready? And we'll we're put going to. Right in. Please, please. Good job. Now the little one is empty. Oh. And look, this is higher. Can we put in more? Here we We're going to go more. higher, Let's do it together. More. higher. Believe it or not, more. this is baby volume. More. Baby volume, okay. That's right. More. More. And empty full. Empty full. At the same time, and, and we're going higher. There's a little bit of addition in here because we keep adding a little bit more, and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the way you get ideas of uh, size, volume, and, int and, and introduce some number concepts How as well. How about sorting? Why is that important to do with your baby? Oh. Well, sorting is it's sort of one of the big logic skill um, things that we all work on, trying to put any kind of ideas in, into what goes together, what doesn't go together, what, what's alike, what's dissimilar. So here we've got a bunch of kitchen stuff, nothing better than some mixing bowls. In great colors. Great colors. We'll take the paper out. Take the paper out. Okay. And Evie, how about let's put all the orange things together. <gasps> so Julie, can you help us? Yes. So here we go. What, can you help me? That one? Yeah. This one. Oh, is there the something else orange? Can that fit in here? Is the spoon orange? Spoon, spoon in there? No, no, that's and then we can push the green things together. This is the kind of thing you do it a few times with the baby, right. every couple of days, and just talk about what's the same. We can talk about color. We can talk about size. There's so many different ways to so sort. So many different ways to sort. Absolutely. Okay. So now learning um, from simple addition. E even babies can learn simple addition. That's right. Can we have those orange blocks? Yes, you sure can. Okay. And we're going to use a green bowl. Okay. Evie, let's take this. And one goes in. We want to add some more. Let's add another block. More. Add another block. And can we add another block? There you go. Would you like to stir it up? There you go. And finally, we're talking about geometry lessons. Geometry. Which seems it seems so complicated for a baby, but but you know early concepts. We, we spend a lot of time trying to get babies to memorize shapes. But in fact, if we sort of help them to get a hands-on experience of what that shape is really about. Okay. So cylinder, I mean, cylinders aren't introduced till like third or fourth grade. Here we go. We're gonna roll this piece of paper. Oh. And we're gonna look through it. Ooh, what do you see? Good job, Stephen Eby. Thank you so much. We've learned addition. We've learned geometry sorting. Great to have you both you here. Can. And you can see other adventures with Eby by going to eby.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.